Hey everyone, it's the founder of Developers Academy and welcome to how to build a photos browser app and I have this new setup in my studio and hope you like it so here's how the app will look like after this project well in this one we will learn how to go to Instagram and download data from Instagram and put it in an app like this we will put three tabs on our project the first one is a news feed which is the news feed in Instagram it is exactly like the Instagram app that you have been using and this one there are a lot of techniques there are a lot of things that we can learn to master um, we will talk about what we want to learn in a little bit but here's how the app will look like okay so in this project you are going to learn how to build the explore tab with UI collection view controller and this is this project and in the next project we'll learn about how to build the newsfeed app I separate these into two courses because there are um, if I put it in a bundle of one course it will be maybe a little bit of a lot for you so let's put it in two courses in each course we will develop different part of the project okay of the app and then we'll learn how to search and download data download photos from Instagram and in this case we're going to download data um, download photos with text the user will be able to enter some text into the search bar so that we can download all the photos from the text into our app okay next we'll learn how to populate the photos that we download from Instagram back to our collection view there are a lot of techniques uh, all around this and a lot of things like delegate method data source methods and we will talk about that okay next we're going to learn about iOS networking and OAuth well what's that OAuth well um, in a sense OAuth is a very popular way that developers use to authenticate users um, user privacy information let's say you and I are logging into an app so OAuth is a way that the app can authorize the web app Instagram web app can authorize the user logs in into our app so we will talk about that in great detail next we will learn about coke pots and open source libraries in a sense coke pots is a very popular and it is one of the most used um, um, dependency management projects okay and we will talk about that, how to install that how to use that in Swift in our iOS projects we will learn about catching data for better performance with collection view now you see that when we download photos from Instagram we download everything into Instagram from the internet it may take a lot of time it may take a lot of data so it is the best for our performance to catch or to store those photos into our app so that later on we don't have to download those things once again right all right next we're going to learn about download JSON data and I think that a lot of you guys come here because you want to learn about how to deal with JSON data JSON stands for JavaScript uh, object notation and if you don't know about JSON yet it's great right because we will talk about that later on okay I assume that you don't know anything about JSON about iOS networking about moon test threading in iOS so I will explain um, everything for you in great detail each step of the way with each video tutorial right next we'll learn about how to parse JSON into foundation objects well JSON is just a bunch of data okay just assume that and what is foundation objects well foundation object is all the things that you see string uh, numbers um, array dictionaries all these things in Swift are foundation objects and the reason why we have to put them into foundation objects is that JSON is something iOS do not understand and foundation objects is the thing that Swift can manipulate or we can manipulate those things in Swift so we will talk we will learn about doing that and of course we will learn about using JSON data in our projects all right so that is that for what we're going to learn before we jump into this course I just want to uh, remind you of the required courses to take before doing this course so that you understand everything I explained to you of course there are a lot of new materials a lot of new um, concepts that we will talk but 
there are a lot of things like the Swift programming language or all the foundational courses like Swift, I was one on one build motivational quotes, active calculators, um, these things. I assume that you already take those courses or you have the knowledge that we learn in those courses. So if you didn't check those out, check them out. Take each step of the way, okay? Um, it's the best practice so that you build your knowledge up. Okay, don't just see that this app is cool to develop and you have a great tutorial I can just type with you and then up to the challenge I will skip it okay it is not the best practice and everybody knows that everybody knows that they have to take each step of the way they have to take the code challenge they have to get stuck to ask questions but most people don't take the time to learn but I know that you are here because you want to take the time to learn so take each step of the way try out the code challenge right okay after that we'll um, I want you to check out the all things called auto layout course that is very important tool so that you can view universal apps okay it's very very important next I want you to learn about UI table view if you haven't it's very important we use that tremendous tremendously in this project and um, in this project we even dealing with more advanced stuff in table view Right. I want you to learn about how to build a Twitter client app, about uh, build a news reader app with UI collection view, and just that. Okay, just take each step of the way, learn at your pace, and take the code challenge because code challenges are the ones that I designed for you to de to learn the most. These, when you just watch the video tutorials and do the demo with me, you will understand the materials. But in order for you to master those to own the materials so that later on you can do it in your own project then you have to take the core challenge just try it out take the time to learn all right so that is this for this introduction videos and i hope you like this i hope that you are excited to jump into the course with us so let's go ahead jump to the next video and that is your core challenge this time jump to the next video or if you haven't taken any required courses take the time learn about the required courses about the required materials and i see you over the other side hey guys it's the did you like this tutorial if you did you can do two things now to continue your journey first you can subscribe to my channel right here which i hope you will so that i can continue sending you more tutorials on a weekly basis and second you can join developers academy today start learning ios development and get your first two weeks free by clicking the link on the screen right now. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.